Hey, good morning, Grace Point. My name is Reed Rideout, and we are continuing to pray in this week's midweek blessing. We are focusing on a prayer from 2 Thessalonians 1.11, where Paul writes to the church of Thessalonica that he, Timothy, and a guy named Silvanus are specifically praying for them in this way. He says, To this end also we pray for you always, that our God will count you worthy of your calling and fulfill every desire for goodness and the work of faith with power. So Paul, Timothy, and this guy named Sylvanus is specifically praying that God will count the Thessalonians worthy of their calling. But what does that mean to them? What does that mean to us? The church being worthy is a big deal for Paul. He mentions it three other times in other passages. In Ephesians 4, he says, Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling of which you have been called. And in Philippians 1, he says, Let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ. And in Colossians 1, he says, For this reason also, since the day we've heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you will walk in a manner worthy of the Lord. So what does it really look like to walk worthy of our calling? First, to be counted worthy of something, we have to have first been given or awarded something of value. Also, being counted worthy of something normally has nothing to do with our winning or anything in our own strength, but being cho chosen due to our character or attributes. Have you ever heard the phrase, hope it's worth it? Well, in a way, that's what Paul is saying here. Really, he is saying, live a life worthy of the gift you have been given. And so what gift have we been given? For a believer, we've been awarded the gift of salvation. This is something we can't do on our own. We can't make our own right, lives right with God. We have to rely on a perfect sacrifice in our place, a sinless life in place of a sinful life. That's Christ on the cross. And because of Christ's sacrifice, we are also given eternal life. So what does our worthiness look like on this earth today? Paul answers this in both Ephesians and Colossians. Paul continues in Ephesians by telling the church to walk with humility and gentleness, with patience, showing tolerance for one another in love, being diligent to preserve the unity of spirit in the bond of peace. And then in Colossians, to walk worthy is to live a life pleasing to God, to please him, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Our mission at Grace Point is to think, act, and be more like Christ. And that is our prayer this morning for each one of you, that we walk worthy of our calling that Christ gave us, that he gave his life for. We walk differently though, than those of the world. We walk in humility and gentleness with patience, being tolerant of one another, loving each other, creating unity, bearing fruit in all good works, and increasing in our knowledge and love towards God. That's our prayer this morning. That's our prayer to you. Grace to you, Grace Point.